so pretty, I don't want to like ruin it. We're here for the latest meeting for the new film. He's now have an idea of what the film's film's going to be about. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts and what are you excited about about the experience? I can't wait for a lot of blood. Yeah, blood, blood, blood and gore. Get all and the anger scenes. out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting playing a vindictive bitch. That's funny. So, some ideas that I have. Um, from a few minutes ago, I was inside the cabin and then I heard like movement outside. So, my first thought was, oh, check out the car. I think like, somebody might be breaking in the car. So, I had a look at the car, but there wasn't anybody touching it. There was some guy that was basically disconnecting some kind of tubing that was like connected up outside. I think it was the tubing from the hot tub. So, it was quite creepy. In the middle of nowhere, there should be nobody else around. Uh, there should be like no other like, guests or anyone working here that could have bothered me. So seeing a random guy that does work here, that was kind of creepy. So that's something I'll probably put in. So the girl at the cabin, when she gets there, she'll be like waiting around by herself. There'll be a lot of build-up. There'll be some moments where she hears something outside, but it turns out it's just some guy that like does maintenance on the cabin or he's a gardener or something. Still getting sounds all around. It's creepy. Okay. It's gonna be even creepier when I run around here in the dark, and I fully intend to do that a little bit later on. It's something else I'm gonna do as well. I'm basically gonna have it where the girl, when she's driving to the cabin, she has to stop off for directions somewhere because she's going on country lane, she gets totally lost, the sat nav is just wrong, and it's not finding where she's supposed to go, so she has no idea where she is. So she stops off in like a little, basically a little turn off on the road because she sees that there's a guy there standing next to her car and she'll basically go over at the guy and ask him for directions but he's going to be really quite creepy so he's going to be like Ugh. like staring at her breasts and stuff and be up staring at her breasts and like total kind of redneck sort of dude but like British sort of version um, and it's the sort of thing that's really going to unnerve the girl and of course like unnerve the audience that's watching the film as well so he'll be there I'm playing with the idea of having some other similar characters that'll appear behind him, so basically after he's done his initial creepy stuff, uh, other characters are going to come out, and then they're going to kind of surround the girl. And then the girl's going to be like, oh no, better get away from here quite quickly. And then that gives us some more cannon fodder for the killer as well. It's going to make it so that when the characters who the girl meets actually come into the story a little bit later on, we can just have a scene where it looks like they're stalking her in the cabin, but then, basically, they just get killed off and can make it quite funny. Got to excuse for more death scenes in the film. Uh, also, so with the cabin stuff, uh, I'm playing with the idea of having two main couples, but having a few other people there as well who are also camping. Uh, the idea is basically anybody that can get to turn up for like a camping trip, uh, they'll be mixed in with the main actors. They won't really say much unless they ad-lib some good lines. And what's going to happen is one of the main characters or all the main characters are going to go off to get like wood for the fire or, or for the barbecue or something. And then when they come back, they find that all find that all the line on the floor dead, corpses covered in blood, uh, limbs all covered in blood. Of course, that's going to make them freak out, run off into the woods. Like rather than working as a team, they're going to like run off individually, being stupid horror movie cannon fodder. I'm hearing all sorts of noises behind me. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. You hear, you hear random things off in the distance. Like it sounds like somebody's chopping wood in that direction. Don't know what that could be. The, that might be chopping wood. But if they're not chopping wood, it's strange. Okay, so with the, the camp, I was basically I'm just going to do as many creative deaths as I can. I'm going to try to make it funny. I'm going to try to have the same sort of like comedy horror attitude as the film Feast. So I really want to make that the light-hearted one. I want to make the story of the girl. I want that to be. I want that to be like really kind of like quite scary. A lot of atmosphere, and then it's going to completely like blow people's minds. And it's a bit of funniness too. It's going to have like a bit of cool edginess. So it's going to be a really cool one. Uh, but the opening one, um, the opening story where it's about the the guy coming in, walking in on his wife, basically having sex with another guy. With that, I'm thinking can make that the darkest one. So. 
when it's actually edited in the movie, it might not actually be the first part of the movie. Like, we might start off with the campfires, because I think that would be the best light-hearted way, best action-packed way to get into it. And then if we show the introduction of the killer character after that, okay, that's kind of cool. I think it would make it so that people understand the character afterwards, but initially they can just enjoy what he's doing with killing people, that they don't need any kind of explanation about it. I'm thinking I might like write up like character profiles so I understand what the character's like, what the motivations are like. She wears something new each time she meets Will, which means she needs more money from Sam's business to buy different clothes. Bitch. Heather thought Mike was really cool because he's an older guy in a band. When he talks with women he wants to have sex with, he generally uses cheesy one-liners. The hate that we want to feel for Sam is one of an anti-hero. Brian has a fascination with Summer. He brings attention to how Jethro keeps staring at her breasts. We think that Summer was attacked in the past and that's why she carries uh, self-defense weapons. She probably likes SMM. We will probably tie her up in bed when she's having smoochy naked time with Will. What we really want to do though is have like three-dimensional characters and don't want to have it so that you just see the characters and you don't care about them. There's actual meaning so when people watch the film they've got a reason to watch it multiple times. I'd love to be able to be nominated for something with this movie and you never know, win something, fingers crossed. Uh, but anyway, that's basically where my head's at with this right now, so I've, I've not long been at the cabin. I've had a bit of a look around, uh, creep myself out a little bit, it's kind of cool, it's what I wanted. Uh, gonna watch some cool horror movies tonight, do a bit of writing. Meet you naked time.